Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a requested video by a friend who lives all the way in Japan. She's actually asked me to do this video twice, and I've just been... I, 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 I don't know. I find it a little bit difficult to have these kind of conversational videos, I've noticed. I kind of put them off. <laughs> But I do want to improve on it, so we're gonna give it a go in this video and um, yeah, we're gonna be discussing whether I think luxury houses will be tapping into the resale market. Before we start discussing, guys, please, if you're new to my channel, welcome. We talk about and look at all things luxury. So if you love all that stuff, please make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never ever miss those videos. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday. Without further ado, let's start discussing. So do I think think luxury houses are going to start tapping into the resale market. First of all, let's look at the figures, right? The luxury resale market is even higher than the primary market. It's shot up by four times within the space of a few years. And the reason for this is obviously due to the pandemic, but also because people are becoming more aware of, you know, global warming and stuff like that. They're much more conscious about where they're spending their money and how they spend their money. So these are both factors that have had a huge driving force in the resale luxury market. Now the question here is, do I think other luxury houses will adapt the same mentality because quite a few have actually seen, you know, you can make a profit from this, okay? Instead of losing out, there is something that we could do. Gucci is a good example. Alexander McQueen is another great example where you can take your old pieces and exchange it for money towards a new item. Oscar de la Renta is another one as well. They have their website called Encore and they put up old runway pieces on there which you can go and shop on. It's still pricey, okay? They're not cheap in the slightest, but they're much cheaper than what they would be if you bought them during the time they were being sold at. Mulberry also have their pre-loved section, the Mulberry Exchange, which you can go and you can go buy pre-loved handbags on that section of the website. What I do worry about is the pricing of which we're starting to see things because a lot of items, although they're being resold and they're old, they're, they're costing a lot. I'm starting to see like brand new and resell are kind of slowly coming to level. <laughs> And that is one thing that I definitely do worry about because I feel like when shopping on the resale market as well, as someone who loves luxury, you're looking for that deal, right? So what happens when the resale market starts leveling out with the the new, the primary market. What's the point? You might as well go new again, which then cancel out the whole, you know, sustainability side of things because that's another reason why a lot of people also shop resale because sustainability and the Gen Z is a huge driving force in that side of things because the younger generation now are definitely more environmental conscious and are making much smarter choices within their purchases. It is also going to be a huge, huge, huge part of the luxury sector. I mean, look at now, just the amount of younger people you see walking around carrying luxury handbags or wearing designer clothes. I don't remember it being like that when, when I was younger. Um, it was something that was very, very rare. With the nowadays, especially if you go into London, oh my gosh, you're like, oh, I saw a kid who was, how old was she? She looked about nine. 10 at most, and you know what she was carrying? A mini Evelyn. I was like, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> when you're younger, you can't necessarily afford all the nicer things at full price, which pushes them to the resale market as well, which is why there's been that force behind it. But do I see Hermes and Chanel join in that? No, Louis Vuitton potentially, potentially one day, just not Hermes and Chanel. Um, I don't see them ever getting involved in that side of the market just due to the, the 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 prestige of the brand and them being associated with the resale market to them it probably feels like you know they're they're lowering the brand value by doing that which in all honesty i don't think they are and maybe if they did do like a maybe a ready to wear section of the pre-loved market leather goods and stuff like that I wouldn't ever put in there because that 
is where the waters can get quite muddy. Generally speaking, things from Hermes in the leather department, whenever you buy anything from Hermes, it's 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 more than what you paid for it on the resale. And you can't exactly, as the brand Hermes, be like, here, we're selling a Birkin brand new from store for 8,000 pounds. We're gonna resell another Birkin that someone else has brought in for 12,000 pounds. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So they couldn't ever do anything like that. But I think maybe in terms of clothing, then it would be a great, Great opportunity to kind of like dabble in the resale market if they did want to. And now just saying that out loud has given me a sudden realization that I'm actually worried Hermes <laughs> starts increasing their prices up to the point where you know the resale market is at now you know for a Birkin brand new maybe 12 14 thousand on the resale market what happens when Hermes gets there I can't afford it I can't afford it <laughs> I'm gonna be crying no 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 Chanel could do possibly the same thing as they've gone down the same route as Hermes in terms of accessibility to certain bags and so on and so forth. And although I am a little bit skeptical and worried when it comes to the resale market, I feel like if a brand was to have their own resale section on the website, I'd be more likely to buy pre-loved as opposed to you know, full price because of the fact that I know what I'm buying is genuine. It's gone through their checks. What better people to check an item than the people that actually work for the brand? You know what I mean? So there's no mistakes. There shouldn't be any mistakes. It'd be very surprising if there was a mistake. I think when it comes to Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, if they don't jump into the resale market, they're gonna to have to find other ways to stay competitive because a lot of, and I can see it in the future, a lot of luxury houses are going to probably end up jumping onto the resale market. Like a lot of them have actually invested into the reseller companies. So like the Real Real Investor Collective, um, Alexander McQueen had a little collaboration with Vestia Collective and you know, things like that because they see the potential revenue that can be made in the resale market. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the future. Do I ever see Chanel and Hermes and Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton actually, yeah, I do see. But Hermes and Chanel, I don't ever see it happening. It's just too much of a prestigious brand, shall we say, and I don't ever imagine them being like, yeah, sure, okay, let's 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 associate with the resale market because they are aiming for specific clientele, okay? They're not aiming to 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 to, to be accessible to every Tom, Dick and Harry in this world. No, no, no. They're happy having a specific clientele. They want the people with money. <laughs> And lots of it, you know. Sometimes you get those ready-to-wear pieces that cost more than the actual bag themselves and people buy that stuff. So I don't think and I don't see them ever being like, okay, let's do a resale thing. Because like I said, a lot of brands associate the resale market as diminishing and devaluing the brand. So yeah, I think I think for Chanel and Hermes it's going to be a no, but hey ho. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the week and I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Take care, bye.